Hello and welcome to Kuchik Main's Calx 101 Episode 8. Calx 101 is a series that is meant to teach you the basics of Calx in theory crafting in order to have a better understanding of one of the most important aspects of it. By the end of this episode, you should have a better understanding of Solver. Solver is a great tool used by theory crafters to distribute the subs efficiently. Instead of going manually through trial and error to get the best combination possible, Solver will do it for you at the click of a button. All the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Alright, so let's start. You will need to go to extensions and go to the solver tab. You will probably not see it if you didn't get the add-on, so go to add-ons and then search for solver and add it. Once you got it, go here, click on start. When you open it, you will see this box here at the right part and you will have to go to where you want to solve. In our case, it's right here where the stats are. So, what exactly do we need to set up? Well, we need to set up some parameters to tell it what it has to do. So, let's start with the objective. What's our objective? Well, the total damage. So, we are going to go to our total damage cell, click it, and then come here. It will automatically do it. Sometimes it works weird, so it might not give you the exact cell you want, but you can double check if what's inserted here matches with the cell you got. Alright, so that's your objective, but what should it change? Well, we go for changing, we'll need the subs, not the ones up here with the caps, but the ones that are uh, flexible down here. So we're going to select it, and let's delete it and select this again, and it will give us the range. Okay, great, that's our range, but that's not enough. It will see the objective as a total damage and it will indeed change the values here, but for now it doesn't know how to change them. So we have to add multiple lines here in the subject to box. We will click on add. And first we will start with the ER requirement. We need to tell it to go to the ER requirement, but not past it. It can go past it, but only if it needs another rule. For example, let's say your ER requirement is 150, and with the rolls it only gets to 149. So it will get another extra roll to get that 150, but then it will stop. To do that, we are going to go to put our ER, or the character's ER here, and have it at the top. Then it has to be higher or equal to my energy recharge requirement right here. Once it is set up, you're going to click add and the boxes will reset. Next, we need to tell how many rolls we are allowed to have. For this, we are going to need to add two lines which will tell it to have minimum two rolls and maximum the rolls calculated here. For that, we are going to select the range of the subs and get it top here and make it higher or equal to the flood sub cap. Alright, now clicking add. Now we told it that it has to be minimum 2 for everything. Now we have to tell it to be a maximum 10 or 12 or whatever the value is here for the cap. So we are going to select the ones to be changed again. Keep it to lower or equal to the range with the caps. Alright, great. With this in mind, the solver will do that, but it will not give us full numbers. For example, it can solve to find the best combination possible, but it could give us like 3.5 ER rules or a weird number, not a, not a full number. It will give us decimals, which we don't want. We want full numbers. So for that, we need to select again the entire range to be changed. Add it at the top on left hand side. And to the relation, we are going to say integer. We are going to click add. And that's it. Now it knows it has to be a full number. And you will see a number from 2 to what's the cap without any decimals. Lastly, we need to tell it how many subs to distribute, our total subs. So we are going to get the total subs right here and have it on left hand side. 
and it has to be lower or equal to the cap right here which we are going to add to the right hand side so basically now we told it that it has to be maximum 40 which it will aim to get the best possible result and we are going to click ok now with all the parameters set we can click the solve button and it will solve for us be careful at the number you will see it will change soon and it changed before we had four rolls into hp and two into em now it removed a roll from hp percent and gave it to em and gave us 100 more damage meaning this is the most optimal sub distribution you can get to maximize hu tao's damage or whichever character it is now let's test how it works with the er requirement currently the requirement is set to 100 so hu tao has 111 which is the flat two rolls we get from kqmc but let's say it is 120 we will click solve again and it found a solution it was redistributed it gave us the remaining two rolls into er so it maximized crit rate and crit damage and er now if we go to stats we can see that hu tao got the er requirement and it changed the damage too if you have any questions or concerns feel free to join the coaching mains discord at discord.g slash coaching for basic questions such as what is the best weapon for my character you can visit our channels in the help category however if you want to ask advanced questions regarding theory crafting kqm has a theory crafting section where you can find a lot of theory crafters including myself if you want to ping or message me directly you can find my discord tag in the description down below this sums up solver as mentioned before the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below next episode the next step